Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. We have to find the value of this double integration, but by converting it into iterated integral in polar coordinates. That means we have to convert this problem in polar coordinates and then we have to solve. So here they have mentioned the region S. Okay. So let us find the region S first, then we will convert a problem in polar coordinates. So let me mention here S is bounded by. Let us see what they have mentioned. The first curve is y is equal to 0. This is equation of x axis. So let me show here y is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the first curve we have. Second, x is equal to x is equal to y upon root 3. So you can easily see here the power of x is 1. Power of y is also 1. If power of both variables, highest power of both variables is 1, it represents a straight line, right? So let me mention it is a line. So now the question is how to find that exact line or how to draw that line. So to draw the line, we need to have any two points on a line. So for that, I'm going to draw this table. First column x, y and the last one is point x, y. So we can put any arbitrary values of x. I'm going to put x is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0, uh, let me show here, 0 is equal to y by root 3, right? So root 3 into 0, 0 is equal to y. So the value of y is 0. So that means the point is 0, 0. So this line passes through this point 0, 0. Let us go for another point. Let us put x is equal to, what shall I put? Uh, x is equal to, suppose I put 1. So if I put x is equal to 1, 1 is equal to y upon root 3. By shifting root 3 on this side, root 3 is equal to y. That means the value of y is root 3. So the point is 1 comma root 3. Okay. So 1 is here. Root 3, root 3 will be 1 point something. So it will be somewhere here. Getting uh, here, somewhere here. So 0, 0, the first point 0, 0. And the second is this one. So let us join them by a straight line. And this is a given line. Okay, what is its equation? X is equal to y upon root 3. Let us go for the third one, uh, third curve, circle, r is equal to 2. So they have already given the equation of circle in polar form. So let me mention this is a circle. This is a circle. Okay, this is a circle center. This is a standard circle with center 0, 0. And radius is obviously 2 r is equal to 2 they have clearly mentioned here so radius is 2 let me draw a rough sketch of a circle getting with center 0 0 radius 2 circle will be like this i am drawing a rough sketch here okay okay so what have they mentioned the region is bounded by this circle that means definitely the region lies inside a circle region bounded by this x-axis region bounded by this line as well as they have mentioned in uh, first quadrant in first quadrant that means in here okay region bounded by circle bounded by x axis bounded by this line that means obviously this is a region of integration okay so finally we got the region of integration now we have to convert a problem in polar form let me remove this one so we'll have some more space to write so there is a standard substitution okay to convert a problem in polar form so let me mention here 2 to convert problem in polar form we put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta so to convert the problem in polar form, we put x and y this one. So therefore, the obvious value of dx and dy is r dr d theta. So now our next task is to convert all equations in polar form. So then we can solve the problem easily. So what we have, we have this equation, we have this line. So let us convert it into polar. We have this circle, but see they have already mentioned r is equal to 2. The given equation of circle is already in polar form. So no need to do. So simply we have to work on the equation of line okay 
make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So what is the equation we have? Let me write, we have, what is the equation of line? X is equal to Y upon root three. So let us convert it into polar form. X we replace by R cos theta. Y we replace by R sin theta upon root three. So RR will get cancelled from both sides, getting, and we will have cos theta is equal to sin theta upon root three. So I will try to find the value of theta here. So for that, I'm going to shift cos theta on this side, root three on this side. So root three is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. Okay. Let us go further. So root three is equal to sin theta upon cos theta means tan theta. So let us shift tan on this side. So tan inverse root three is equal to theta. Since we want to find uh, the value of theta, tan inverse root three is pi by three. So therefore theta is equal to pi by three. So in this way, we got the equation of this line, which is theta is equal to pi by three. So you know that in polar coordinates, we always draw strip like this. So this is our strip. Okay. So in polar coordinates, strip always starts at origin and it moves like this in anti-clockwise direction. Getting? So the strip will start here. It slowly, slowly will move like this and it will go up to this line to cover each and every point of a region. Getting? So let us find limits with the help of that. Then R and theta. Okay, the so strip is bounded below, bounded below. It starts at zero. So the bounded below by R is equal to zero and it is bounded above by a part of circle whose equation is R is equal to two. So that's why obviously R varies from zero to two. As I told you earlier, strip start here where the value of theta is zero. It will rotate like this and it will go up to this line where the value of theta is pi by three. So in this way, we got the limits of R and theta. Now the problem is very easy for us. Okay, since almost the main part is done. So let us go further. So I is equal to double integration, right? What is the function we have? X plus Y. X means R cos theta. Y means R sin theta in polar coordinates. DA means DX DY whose value is DR DR D theta limits of R 0 to 2. Okay, so inner integration is always with respect to R in polar coordinates. Outer integration is always with respect to theta having limits 0 to pi by 3. So finally, we converted the given integral in polar form. Now simply we have to solve it. Okay, just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let us simplify it further. Okay. So this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 3 here 0 to 2. See what will I do? I will take R common. So R common in bracket we have cos theta plus sin theta R dr d theta. So as I told you earlier, the inner integration with respect to th R and the outer integration with respect to theta. So this bracket does not have any r. So it's a constant. We can take it outside. 0 to pi by 3 that cos theta plus sin theta is a constant. Okay. For in inner integral 0 to 2 r into r r square dr d theta. So 0 to pi by 3 cos theta plus sin theta r square its integration is r cube by 3 0 to 2 d theta okay let us put upper limit lower limit i is equal to 0 to pi by 3 cos theta plus sorry plus sin theta i will put upper limit at a place of r i am going to put 2 so it is uh, 2 cube by 3 if I put 0, we will have 0 d theta. So it's a constant. We can take it outside. 2 cube is 8 by 3. So it's a constant. So that's why I have taken it outside. 
Let us integrate. You know, integration of cos theta is sin theta. Integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. 0 to pi by 3. Let us put upper limit, lower limit. Cos pi by 3 minus, sorry, huh, there is sin, no, first sin pi by 3 minus cos pi by 3 minus, I am putting 0, sin 0 minus, but see when we put lower limit, we always write minus sign and this minus, minus, minus plus cos 0. So, 8 by 3 sin pi by 3 um, is root 3 by 2 minus cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2, sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1, getting? Uh, so, this is equal to 8 by 3 root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is plus 1 by 2. So, this is required answer, okay? So, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.